What are you doing? Oh, um, just some wax, I think. Phone. You know what they say? You shouldn't put anything bigger than your elbow in your ear. Should get them syringed. My hairdresser used to do that. Don't know if they still do. I had it done once. It hurt a bit. But you wouldn't believe the amount of gunk that came out. Who was it used to have this desk? Um, was he called Matt? Matt. That's it, Matt. Oh, he was lovely. You know, he started here to help out over Christmas. We kept him on because we had a lot of work coming in. By the end of February, he was full time. And by June, he'd been seconded by head office to manage Crawley. Do you know where he is now? Crawley? Ghoul. Area manager. Covers Scarborough down to Kings Lynn. <laughs> what he could do with pivots is nobody's business. You see, he wanted it, Nathan. He had desire and belief, Nathan. Do you have desire and belief? Well, you know... I... The speed of the leader dictates the pace of the pack. Are you in my pack, Nathan? Mm. Anyway, let's crack on. Yes, and uh, wash your hands. I don't want that keyboard getting all tacky. Right, yes, thanks, Linda. Alright mate, it's Nathan. Yeah, very good. Look, I need you to be deadly serious. I'm, I'm in a bit of a mess. Is it Alice? Is there a girl found out? No! And it's nothing like that, and I never did anything with Alice anyway. More's the pity. No, listen. Promise me you're just. Listen properly to me and you won't take the piss or rats around, yeah? I really need your help here. <sighs> okay, look, look, promise me you'll just listen to me and then talk normally to me about it afterwards. Yeah? <laughs> Fucking promise me! Dave? Yeah, all right, calm down. Go on, man, boy. Right. Well, this afternoon, I was in the office, and... and I think my pen has gone inside my ear and right inside my head. Are <laughs> you joking me? Are you serious? Your pen has gone in your head. You promised me you'd be sensible! Listen, I, I thought you were going to tell me you had cancer or something, not that you had a pen in your head. Dave, what do I do? I think it's gone right in. I'm gonna go in to go now. Can you go too? Can, can you put the phone down? Look, don't try to call me back or text me or anything for a bit, yeah? Have you gone special? Please stop talking to me immediately! Right, I'm going. I am in the room calling up the other that.
Mr. Tones, we cannot just make an exception. You have to follow the procedure. You must call reception at 8.30 in the morning to be given an appointment. And please do not shout at Mary. She's only doing what she's been told to do. If it really is an emergency, you should have called the out of hours number or gone to any. I know. I I'm sorry. I, I, I lost my phone. I'm, I'm late for work. That really is not an excuse. But you're here now. So, what's the problem? How can I help? I think there's something in my ear. Is it wax? No. Well, I mean, I mean, there might be, but no. I think something's gotten in. A foreign body? Yes. Well, well maybe a few foreign bodies. Right, well, we better take a look then, hadn't we? Which ear is it? Okay. Okay. Uh. Ah, yes. There is some redness that I can see in there, but overall it's, it's quite clean, actually. I'm assuming you use a cotton bud, yes? It's very bad for you. You should never put anything smaller than your elbow down your ear. And it ear is very delicate. It's very easily damaged, even when you're trying to be careful. Oh, very funny. Very funny. Right, take your hands off my eyes. But seriously now, Mr. Tomes, this is highly inappropriate behaviour. You come into my surgery without an appointment. You call my receptionist a terrible name. And now you're just messing about. But I will call the police. I will call the police. Turn on the lights. Turn on the lights! Turn on the lights! Turn on the lights! Mr. Tomes. Mr. Tomes. Would you kindly release me, please? This, this is false imprisonment. I, sh I shall speak to my MP about this. I shall be certainly writing a letter to someone. I could sue. I really can sue, you know. Please. Where have you put me? Will you please kindly release me? I, I have to get out now. I can't stand any more of this. Hello. What, what, what's Hello. happening now? Hello. I've been in a car accident. We're moving. I can, I I can feel so myself moving. Oh, dear God, we're going down. I'm blind. Where am I going? Where am I going? I can't hold on to anything. It's all dark. Please let me out. I don't like it in here. Wait. Wait, no, no, oh, I'm not dying. 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 I, I swear, I can shit, smell feces, uh, uh, Mr. Oh, Toad, feces. Uh, oh, Lord, the smell. Oh. Nathan. Go on, get back. Nathan, you're late again. I'm going to have to give you a file note. You're letting people down, you know. There's plenty of people want your job. You're not indispensable. Thank you.